That's my last video showing how to farm the 10 million souls an hour blew up way more than I was expecting. I thought I'd make a follow-up video kind of demonstrating where I got the weapon from and also how to get to the location where I did the farm. I'll also show the method that I used before I found this weapon, so make sure that you stay tuned to the end. I think it goes without saying that this is very end game, so please be aware if you care about spoilers at all that, that you will get spoiled. The weapon is called the Sacred Relic Sword, and you get it by taking the remembrance of the very last boss, the Elden Beast, to this lady here in the round table, and you choose this receive power from remembrance option so i haven't got the remembrance anymore but don't worry if, if you haven't got it anymore you can even if you spent it you can go to one of the giant bell turtles and kind of duplicate it and get it back um but you give it to her here and it will give you the weapon so as you can see uh, i've upgraded the weapon to plus nine and these are my stats on the right uh, i'm i'm not entirely sure that you need to upgrade it to plus nine uh but I mean, with the amount of souls that you get, you can easily buy the materials to, to upgrade it to plus nine anyway. Uh, and with these stats, I'm fairly sure you don't need stats this high. This is I'm just showing this because this is what I used. You can probably not go much above the required to use it uh, and still be fine. Um, but I'm just showing this for the sake of the video, really. For the talismans, the only one that really matters is this golden scarab, which increases the amount of runes that you get from enemies. And you get this from a cave over in... The Kaelid area. It's this cave here, this abandoned cave. It may be worth crafting some of these gold pickled fowl feet, as these will significantly increase the amount of runes that you get. But the area that you want to come to is actually underground. It's in this area called the Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum. And the side of grace that you want to go to is this one. It's called the Palace Approach Ledge Road. I found out there are actually two methods to get to the location, thanks to someone in the comments of the previous video. But to start with, I'll show the way that I got there, which is reasonably arduous. So you have to collect two pieces of this Halig Tree secret medallion. The first piece you get from this location, the village of the Albanorix. And the second you get from beating a pretty tough boss in this location here in Castle Sol, in the north part of the, the giant area. Once you have both pieces of the medallion, you need to come back to the Grand Lift of Rold, and then you show the secret medallion at the lift, and it will bring you up to this location here, the hidden path to the Halig Tree. Then there is a way gate covered in blood that's rather hidden, and it's located here. When you go through, you'll end up pretty much in the farming location. So I'm in a dark cave here, you just run forward. Around here. And the farming location is just at the bottom of this hill, down there. Here we are. The other way to get there is by following the quest line of the white-faced Vare. The beating Godric, he'll come to this location here, the Rose Church. And he'll want you to do some PvP. But once you've done his quest line, he gives you an item that will teleport you to the location where the farm's located. So to do the farm, all you do is you run down to this hill here. And then I like to go kind of deep so that I hit the guys at the bottom, and then just use the weapon up. You can see it absolutely decimates everything. And you can see I missed a couple of guys, so there's a few guys at the bottom that I missed. I missed this guy here. And I got 30,000 souls. So you can get upwards of 40, you can get close to 50. It really depends how many gold eyes that you get down there and how many that you catch. There's a little bit of RNG. Um, I have got close to 50 a couple of times. Um, what you can do is you can come back, rest, leave, run down, use the weapon art around here. And then rather than kind of waiting, you can just run back and you'll continue to collect them on the way back. And then you just sit down. And in that way, it's very, very quick. To, to farm. What also helps is doing it at night. I believe that increases the chances of getting the gold I want. But that's it. 
the one final thing that I wanted to show was how I did this farm before finding the, the kind of broken, overpowered weapon. There are almost certainly better weapons to use, but this one worked really well for me. Uh, it's called the Blasphemous Blade, and you get it from the Remembrance of the Blasphemous um, by killing Rykard, who's located over here in Mount Gelmir. So you kill Rykard, take his Remembrance to the Witch, get the weapon, and then you run down here, and the weapon art shoots out a huge line of flames. Uh, I'll show it now. I usually shoot it like around here. You see it just nails all those ones there. I come down maybe a little bit further, shoot these guys. And you can see it just kills kills the guys pretty easily. Um, you can just run down and just use it. I usually use it until I run out of mana, and then maybe finish off a couple of the, um, the remaining guys. And then come back. So it's no way near as fast, but you can just use it a couple times down there, kill a few of them, come back, rest, respawn. And that, that was a very fast way for me. So thanks everyone for watching. I, I can't believe how much the last video blew up. Uh, I hope this has been useful for people. This is by far the fastest method that I've found to get the runes. Uh, and I hope this helps you level up for some of the very, very difficult bosses in the game and for people that want to go into the, the new game cycle. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching.